settled in her bath, I get to go do my favorite part, which is cleaning out her bucket. It's not my favorite, that was sarcastic. Let's go. Okay, so I didn't film this part because it's dark outside, so you're missing it anyway. But um, I just dump her box outside. Um, take out the bowl. Um, usually I would rinse it, but it's dark and it's cold, so I didn't. I just uh, wiped it out. I have gloves on when I do this, so I dump the bucket out and then I scrape down the sides with my gloves. Put her food and water back in there and refill it with wood shavings so it is all ready for her to return to. Okay, so we are moving on to bandaging. A few things that we have here for frostbite, aloe vera, gauze, vet wrap, a glove. Um, I don't always use gloves. Sometimes I do. My hands are pretty dry and beat up from the dogs, so I might try and use a glove this time. Um, scissors to cut the vet wrap and the gauze. Um, so truth be told, there isn't a lot that can be done for frostbite once it's hit, um, especially for animals. So really what you do at this point is aloe vera um, is uh, um, aloe vera is skin healing. That's why we use it on sunburns. Um, you can also use um, anti, not antibacterial, but yeah. Um, triple antibiotic ointment as long as there's no pain reliever in there or spray vetricin on it in addition to this um, the gauze just helps keep the aloe vera on and then vet wrap we have attempted medical tape um, it came off very quickly vet wrap you can also buy this in a medical store they use it with people all the time but it's way more expensive so if you need like something that a self self sticking wrap um, they say it's for vet use only, but, um, I mean, talk to your doctor first, but you can totally just take this. It does have latex in it, but, so if you're allergic to latex, that might not be your best option, but it's a cohesive bandage, and it's, like, $2.50. The stuff in medical stores is way more expensive if you need something like this. You can just get it from, like, Fleet Farm or some sort of Fleet Supply. Anyway, um, yeah, and that's really all you can do. Once, um, once you have thawed in lukewarm or cooler water, not cold, but you don't want it hot, um, all you can really do is put some stuff to help heal the skin, keep it wrapped, and keep them in a warm, dry place, and hope for the best. Um, and you can feed them electrolytes. So the water that you saw was yellow because it has an electrolyte mix in it. Um, it's actually orange in real life, but on my screen it looked yellow, but on the phone it looked yellow. Um, anyway, it's an electrolyte. Um, make sure they're getting plenty of food for healing. Um, and just make them comfy. Keep them resting. That's really all you can do at that point. Their body's going to do what their body's going to do, and that's, that's about it. There's not much else that can be said. So, um, let's pull her out and get her patched up for the evening, eh? This is like the worst angle ever. You can see my toilet, which is weird to me. But anyway, um, this will be the easiest angle for you to see what I'm doing with Leafling. Um, so here's her duck towel that we'll be using. And I'm going to pull her out of the bathtub and start getting her dried off. All right, Leaf. I like to put this over my lap for her. And we're going to get her nice and covered. Um, I try not to leave her wings out for too long because she will wreak havoc on me and everybody else with her wings. Um, so here's Leafling. We're gonna get her a little bit dried off, get her a little settled. Um, I used to try and bring treats up for them to make this process more pleasant, um, but they were far too, far too stressed to um, take treats at this time. So I kind of stopped doing that. There you go. That's right, you don't need your whole head in there. I'm gonna give you a little cord. There you go. That make it better or worse. <laughs> um, so anyway, I should just snuggle her a little bit while she gets cooled up, while she gets warmed up and a little bit dried. We'll take a look at her feet. Um, this is a good time to prep gauze and vet wrap if you need to, um, especially if you're doing this by yourself. Sometimes my husband helps, in which case I don't worry about it too much. Um, but he's not available right now, so anyway, cut. 
Um, how much frost do you cut? I don't know. Until my heart sings, I guess, is when I'm like, oh, that's enough gauze. <laughs> Are you hanging in there, sweetie? Okay, yeah. I can't tell if she's cold or scared, but she's definitely a little shivery right now. That's okay. Can I take some more therapy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see her shivering in the screen, but she's feeling cold and nervous. She's okay. We're going to get her warmed up. Chill that a little bit. And vet wrap. We chose blue. Um, usually in vet places, they come in a variety of colors. We also have a purple, pink, and white, in case anybody is curious. The colors that Lisa gets to choose from. I think this is going to be enough. I would like to go more than less. Um... For, I feel obvious reasons. More isn't going to hurt. Less, I have to get more out. Um, it's probably a waste, I guess, is what some people might feel. And that's valid. Um, and I'm not going to argue with you, because you're right, I am probably wasting this stuff. Um, but I'm doing a single wrap for my duck. And that's just easier for me, so we do what we do. Um, again, I've tried medical tape to wrap this. It doesn't stay on very well. Okay. How are we doing, little Miss Leaf? Yeah. But we're not a fan of this. That's okay. Okay. Let's get you patched up. Ooh, are you okay? Is your wing okay? Her wing came up a little bit. All right. So generally, at this point, I flip her over. Yeah, it's okay. I know. This is the worst part. And I kind of like to cover her head. Woo! Alright. So, um, this, I don't want to, like, show you her feet, because this can be a little gruesome. Um, and you probably don't need to. But, um, so when ducks get frost, so when anyone gets frostbite, really, um, it can blister. So there's four levels of frostbite. Um, so the third and fourth level blisters can happen. And then, I'm pretty sure, like, any level of frostbite can blister um, if they're not reheated properly, if they're reheated too fast, because, whoops, it's okay, you can kick. Um, if they're reheated too fast, because the skin is more susceptible to um, heat damage when reheated from frostbite, and so it can blister from heat, it can blister from the frostbite itself. Um, pretty much her whole feet are blistered at this time. Um, just like sunburn blisters. Um, so her blisters are going down. They're not as large as they were before. I go all the way up the leg because I'm not sure how much of the leg got frostbitten. Um, and again, the aloe vera really just helps the skin heal. It's okay. It's okay. Um, try not to rub it in too hard, as it can hurt and agitate the skin if it's rubbed too hard into her leg. Um, generally, she doesn't actually mind it too much. It's okay. It's okay. She's feeling extra feisty today, but you can, um, you saw in the video before that she is walking pretty okay, which is really nice. Um... If you remember Hildy from last year, she was not walking this well um, at this stage in the frostbite game. Um, if you don't remember Hildy, I had another duck that got frostbite last year. And um, she seemed to have healed and then passed away in May. Uh, one more little bit. Come on, baby, you can do it. I'm talking both to the duck. Okay, got it on our legs. Alright, so from here, we start wrapping. I like to start at the top. It's okay, girl. You're fine. Um, frostbite can happen in minutes. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. It's alright. There you go. I don't think she was being held, like, sufficiently enough. So frostbite can happen in minutes. Um, with her, I don't know when it started. 
um, but my ducks, if you see in other videos, all have this tendency to, um, okay girl, I have to rewrap it. Well, you're flipping your legs a lot. It's hard to wrap it when you've got your legs flipping around. So just chill out for like one second and hopefully I'll be able to get it better wrapped this time. There we go. And now the vet wrap. So um, anyway, we, they were all fine. We went to judo, we came back. If you've seen my other videos, my ducks really like to like sit and lay in their water bowl outside. Um, and like I said, frostbite in that instance can happen in minutes. Um, so unless we were like out there watching them, there are options to prevent that with better water bowls. Um, there we go. Get this nice and round. Um, with different water bowls, but with ducks in particular, it's difficult because they require um, water bowls that are deep enough for them to. Um, sorry, I got distracted. They require water bowls that are deep enough to get their whole heads in so that they can um, wash out their eyes, mouth, and nose with their water. So it has to be relatively deep. Um, and for it to be like deep enough for that, they will stand in it. So that's what happened. We were one day away from being out of um, super scary temperatures. And she just had to get frostbite that day. Um, so anyway. There we go, we get it nice and wrapped. I like to leave them a little bit of room so they can still walk okay. Um, there we go, recheck this one, make sure it's nice. There, what do you think? What do you think, Daisy? All right, I'm gonna go put it back downstairs and start cleaning up. Um, excuse me, as far as bathroom cleaning goes, um, I've gotten, much better at containing the mess. Um, so I drain the bathtub, which it's doing right now, and then I'll wipe the bathtub out with paper towels. Um, you can use reusable stuff for that. Uh, I don't because it's just a lot of work. It takes extra cleaning and stuff. Um, and then I usually wipe out um, with Clorox disinfecting wipes and then I clean the bathtub um, you can use right now I'm using the Clorox this is to the Clorox toilet wands are what I use currently um, if you have to clean out uh, the bathtub a lot like right now we have to do it like every other night um, I'll be switching to Dawn dish soap um, that works just as fine, just as well, and it's cheaper than the Clorox uh, toilet ones. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the bathtub to get cleared out, and then I will also use Clorox wipes on the floor where we were sitting, and that's it.